All right, folks, we are going to be replacing the blower motor on a Goodman model M7, otherwise known as a ARUF036 alpha dash one alpha. So the way you know your blower motor has gone out is if there's a lot of smoke and smoke will probably roll up through your uh, vents throughout the house. Pretty scary. There's just smoke everywhere in the house and there's no heat and you don't know where it's coming from. Good times. Anyways, we're gonna take off the front panel first. So this whole section here is the front panel and that'll come out when you remove some screws. You'll find them just on the sides. They're probably not all installed. I've already removed them. Just pop it forward and then lift up. And out she goes. So what we're looking at here is the condenser, or I don't know if it's called a condenser, but the make cold thingy uh, where the air comes up through. So the AC line runs through here, cools down this these ridges, these metal ridges, and then this blower fan pushes air up into the rest of the vents, and it draws across the cold. So, basically, the fan is out, or the motor is out, and you can see the fan, let me see if I can do this without flipping the camera around too much, the fan is in here, the fan is what will spin around, and the motor is what will propel that fan to spin around. So one of the tricks, apparently, don't quote me too much on it, is if that fan will spin freely and just kind of keep going and slow to a stop eventually, that's supposed to mean the motor's pretty good. If it goes a little bit and then kind of sticks, the motor might be bad. In my case, it doesn't move at all. So motor's probably pretty bad. Plus when I put the power back on it made a big spark. Uh, you're supposed to it's recommended you replace the capacitor before you do anything or you, re you replace the capacitor with the motor. Uh, I am not doing that because I tested the capacitor. Uh, one thing to know about the capacitor is it can carry some extra charge. So all you have to do to discharge it expose some of the leads so you can see the metal and then just short the metal with something metallic so I'm touching both sides with a screwdriver or something it doesn't really matter but you can test the capacitor if you want um, if you have a capacitance testing multimeter or you can use a regular multimeter um, by testing for resistance after a short the resistance should register and then increase to infinity so you can find out how to do that online pretty easily if you don't have a multimeter that tests capacitance but to be on the safe side you should probably just replace the capacitor if you can't test it um, it also might be good to update just with the age of the motor. Mine is technically not that old. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, if you look at the serial number, it starts with an 04, and that generally means that's usually the year when it was made or installed. So <clears throat> if yours, if you moved into a house or whatever, and you've had this for under five years or 10 years, my understanding is that Goodman has uh, five or ten year warranties. So if it's within five years or ten years, it might be worth it to call up Goodman, give me your serial number, and see if there's a warranty replacement on it. Uh, in my case, obviously, we're past ten years. Uh, also, I guess it says it right there. Pretty much. So we're going to replace the blower motor. Uh, I replaced the blower motor by, or I ordered the bl blower motor by figuring out which model it was. And I did that by sticking this phone way into here. Sorry, let's see where we're going. 
and checking out that label right there. So this label has a lot of information, the RPMs, the horsepower, and the serial number. It says CPN, uh, Charlie Papa November in the lower left hand corner. That's what I did a search for to get a replacement for. Uh, obviously it looks really terrible, but I'm pretty sure this is the problem. So we're, I ordered a replacement model directly from Goodman. They're not cheap. It is not really going to be an easy fix. Uh, if you're lucky, you can test out the capacitor and maybe the capacitor blew. Uh, usually what happens, though, if that happens, is the capacitor gets bulges on it. So in my case, it's really not that much going on with it. Uh, like I said, I already tested the capacitor, but usually there's some kind of, it looks like damage to it. Capacitor replacement is easy and requires a screwdriver and costs about 10 bucks. Now, motor replacement is not. Uh, the motor I got was $160. That's straight from Goodman. I probably could have gone with something else. But uh, that's what we're dealing with. So, still beats paying someone to come out and repair it uh, if I don't electrocute myself which hopefully I will not. So I'm going to pause here and try to get positioned. Well, actually, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Um, the way this works is the motor is mounted to the system here. And you can see it's got the fan on the inside. But this whole unit right here is mounted to the entire top on rails. So you can see where is going to be sliding right here. So you can see that this support bar that's attached to this unit is screwed right into it. Right there. So, I'm going to remove these, or remove this, and that one, and oh, there's not one back there. Doesn't look like it. No, just those two. So, I'm going to remove those two. Then I'm going to try to pull the whole unit forward. Uh, before doing that, I've, as I said, discharged the capacitor. And I'm looking at the wires that are coming out of here. <clears throat> There's only three. Come up here. And don't don't be intimidated by this rat's, rat's nest. See if I can get you all in there. So, follow the wires. There's only three. I can see where they're going. That's them. If we get lost or we get the replacement wires, we're going to check there <clears throat> and I'll review this video. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the motor and actually compare the connections and make sure everything looks about right. Uh, glad I started this video. I just didn't realize I might have gotten the wrong unit. So I'm going to check that real quick.